I'm Emory Thompson of Emory Thompson Realty. The following presentation are some tips that I have learned in selling homes. They could help you. Take a look. I believe there are five steps in selling your home. This is the first. You want to choose a realtor that is a member of the Board of Realtors. This is important because a realtor that is a member of the Board of Realtors has the necessary tools available to get your home sold. In choosing a realtor, ask what percentage they will list your home for. The average is around 3%. Emory Thompson Realty will list your home for 1.5%. This will save you thousands of dollars. You will want to sign a listing agreement with your realtor. This ensures that your realtor represents you. Your realtor can do a market analysis of your home to help you determine the value of your home. Your realtor will put an electronic lockbox on the door and a sign in the yard. An electronic lockbox, I think, is important because only agents with an electronic key can open the lockbox. And your realtor will have a record of, of who opens the lockbox and how long the agent is there showing the property. Your realtor will take lots of pictures and hopefully make a visual tour. This allows buyers to preview, preview your home online. This is important because most buyers are looking online at homes to buy. Your realtor will put your home on the multi-listing service and distribute the listing to hundreds of home buying websites. This is the second step in selling your home. You want to stand back and look at your home as if you were a buyer seeing the home for the first time. You might need to do some touch-up paint, move some furniture, and some very thorough cleaning, all to ensure that your home makes a good first impression on the buyer. You only have one chance to make a good first impression. When you go down to the car dealer, they got those cars all slicked up and shiny. They're trying to impress you. You want to keep your home ready to show so when your agent calls to tell you that another agent wants to show your home to some buyers, you are ready. Now you are ready to sell your home. This is the third step in selling your home. Buyers are looking at your home and an agent has sent your agent an offer. Your agent will present all offers to you in a timely manner. Your agent will discuss the good points and bad points of each offer so that you can fully understand each offer. Your agent will help you decide on how to arrive at a counter offer if one is necessary. After you and the buyer reach an offer that is acceptable to both of you and is signed by both you, the seller, and the buyer, this is known as a binding contract. This is the fourth step in selling your home. The fourth step is the time between the binding contract date and the closing. The closing is normally 30 to 60 days from the binding contract date. The buyer will normally have a home inspection done by a licensed home inspector during the due diligence period, also known as an inspection period. The buyer might ask you to pay for repairs that the home inspector finds that need repairing. Your agent will guide you in the negotiations on any repairs that are necessary. After this is satisfactorily completed, you are on the way to the closing table. This is the fifth and final step in selling your home. The closing table refers to you and the buyer sitting at a large table in an attorney's office and signing legal documents. The buyer and the buyer's mortgage company will normally wire funds to the attorney ahead of time. 
You and the buyer will both sign a lot of legal documents. The attorney will give you a check for the sale of your home. Congratulations, you've sold your home. Call me and I will assist you in selling your home. You can call Emory Thompson, 770-601-0122. Email me at emorythompsonrealty at gmail.com.